It's a very tough race. It's a big challenge. It is massively demanding for the drivers. Oh God. Tough day, tough day again. Welcome to Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge. This cross-country event is held in the capital of UAE. It's divided into five stages and over 2,000 kilometers long. The main terrain are majestic dunes of Abu Dhabi. It's a very tough race. It's a big challenge. Dunes here are really tricky. It's not easy to read, so uh, there's a lot of broken dunes. You can broke something, you can run on the dunes, you can get stuck uh, on a hole for hours. But Alia loves sand, so I guess we will uh, make a good race. Two, one, go! Straight on. The prologue, we start with a big downhill, so it was a, a good wake up for the beginning of the prologue. The car have a lot of change on uh, shock setting, so it's very nice to drive. It was good, it was uh, technical, it was, it was fast. We have a quite good result. We are in the middle of the field, so it's a nice uh, start position for tomorrow. And step down at the finish. Yeah. Car is not the same, huh? No, in a good yeah. way? Yeah, in a good way. <laughs> totally different. Yeah. In Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge, we have five consecutive days in the harshest possible desert condition you can imagine, and uh, all the team is working tremendously good. Alia is progressing each stage, she's getting better and better, even though it is massively demanding for the drivers to keep focus each stage in like four plus hours, and uh, it was pretty hot. The dunes in, in Abu Dhabi is not, not easy. 14 kilo, many broken dunes. You get the speed and then slow down because the dune was broken, so it was uh, really difficult. A lot of dune was white, very difficult to see the line. A little bit uh, disadvantage comparing to the SSV, so we were fighting with SSV more or less all day. But we made it back, the car in one piece, so uh, I would say it's good. Incredible! In Abu Dhabi there's a challenge, everything can happen. For us today it was the gearbox. Oh, Lord. Uh, after 25Ks, uh, we lose the third gear, which is one of the most important. Third gear doesn't work. Yeah. Can I continue like this? Yeah, you can try. Because it's uh, able to carry some speed when you need and uh, also to uh, slow down when you need. Sometimes we're lagging on four and revving it on two, so it was uh, quite tricky. Third gear is gone completely. Uh, third gear, yes. I guess it's only the fork. Yeah, so then I was, had to go two, four, oh. two, four, two, four, four. But uh, we made it back and the car is getting worked on. So uh, we're going to try again tomorrow. We did a lot of mistakes, driver mistakes, navigation mistakes. On the left. Tell me sooner, please. And we got stuck one time and then also managed to have to change a wheel one time and the jack wasn't working again. Tough day, tough day again. We see many cars stop. Do they need help? Oh God. On the side, you're the one on the roof of the old roof. I had a small impact and oh. hit the, the front, so it was uh, uncomfortable. Yeah, directly on the nose. On the gas straight away, pull it out. But uh, the car was, was okay, just the plastics. We just keep straight, continue, and at the end we're on top 10, so yeah, quite a good day. So far we had several difficult stages and this is the last one of them. The final stage with selective section a little bit over 200 kilometers will set up the final result of Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge. So we finally finished the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge. It was a really long five days. It's one of the most dangerous dunes, I think. So I'm happy to be at the finish safe and sound. Nakonec jsme skončili sedmi, což vyberu jako absolutně perfektní výsledek. Top competitors definitely stop. We saw them on the track there and there. Byly tady nehody, kdy prostě ostřílení borci odstoupili, zlomili si záda, měli takovou tu mořskou nemoc, kdy museli zastavit, byli do helmy. Prostě neuvěřitelný, jo. 
Alia exceeded every one of our expectations from a partnership. As Redline and as the manufacturer, we're extremely proud and we really look forward to, to what the future brings us.